Arsenal's big transfer problem, stop relying on loans. Introduction. In recent years, Arsenal has been facing a significant transfer problem that has hindered the club's progress and potential success on the field. This issue revolves around the excessive reliance on loaning players as a means of reducing the wage bill, which has limited the club's ability to attract buyers for certain players and retain the true value of their assets. In this article, we will delve into the background of this problem, discussing the pivotal conversation between key figures at Arsenal that sought to change the club's history. We will also explore how this shift in approach has affected the team's financial status, playing style, and identity. A turning point in Arsenal's history. A few years ago, Arsenal's manager, Michael Arteta, along with Edu, BFG, and Josh Kroenke engaged in a crucial conversation that marked a turning point in the club's history. Rather than remaining complacent, the club's owners decided to take action and break free from the stagnant approach that had characterized Arsenal for years. They sought to focus on creating a stronger connection with the fans, implementing non-negotiable principles, and lifting the mood around the club. This conversation aimed to propel Arsenal back to its previous levels of success and significance in the football world. The consequences of complacency. Before this transformational discussion, Arsenal had been plagued by complacency. The club's owners were content with making money off the Arsenal brand without prioritizing the team's on-field performance. As a result, Arsenal experienced two consecutive eighth-place finishes, their lowest in 25 years, which was deemed unacceptable by the new management. Additionally, missing out on European competition for the first time in a quarter century was considered a rock-bottom moment for the club. Scrutinizing every aspect to prevent such disappointing outcomes in the future, Michael Arteta initiated a comprehensive action plan that involved analyzing and scrutinizing every department of the club. This approach was not limited to tactical improvements on the pitch, but extended to strategic planning in all aspects. As a result of this intense review, Arsenal has become a richer and more financially stable club capable of relying on Champions League revenue once again. The identity and style transformation. Beyond financial improvements, the transformation plan has also provided Arsenal with a clear and defined identity on the pitch. The team now emphasizes a specific profile of talent in their scouting acquisition strategy, resulting in players who align with their desired playing style. This clarity of vision has translated into a more competitive and exciting brand of football, creating a vibrant atmosphere at the Emirates Stadium. The problem of overpaid players and loans. However, despite these positive changes, Arsenal still faces challenges, particularly when it comes to offloading players who were perhaps overpaid in the past. This situation has made it difficult to find potential buyers willing to match their high salaries, leading the club to rely on the loan market to reduce the wage bill. The misuse of the loan market. While a loan market was once employed primarily for nurturing young talent's development, Arsenal has increasingly used it as a solution to offload players who no longer have a future at the club. Notable players like Pape, Cedric, and Mary have been loaned out with little chance of a future return to North London, essentially functioning as temporary fixes until their contracts expire. A game of poker, Arsenal's predicament. Unfortunately, this over-reliance on the loan market has created a problem for Arsenal. Potential suitors now know that the club is often willing to accept loan deals instead of demanding transfer fees. This predicament has led to a situation where interested parties might prefer to wait for Arsenal to cave in and agree to a loan rather than paying a transfer fee for players like Rob Holding, who are undoubtedly valuable assets. Setting a precedent for the future. To address this issue, Arsenal must consider setting a precedent and refusing to sell certain players unless it's for a fee. By standing firm and prioritizing the club's interests, Arsenal can encourage other clubs to pay the appropriate transfer fees and ensure that the true value of their assets is met. Conclusion. In conclusion, Arsenal has made significant strides in transforming the club's approach to achieve greater success both on and off the field. However, the over-reliance on the loan market to offload players remains a challenge that needs to be addressed. By setting a strong precedent and focusing on the long-term benefits, Arsenal can overcome this transfer problem and continue its journey towards becoming a top footballing powerhouse once again.